hello again welcome back to asgard and welcome back to roguelike adventures and dungeons um so i did go ahead and plant a palm tree we had some saplings we've got a couple left over oh it's starting to sun's starting to set on me but i went ahead and planted one uh the reason being let me actually switch that back um the reason is we are oh i have axe right here <laughs> um we're going to go to Tropicraft Dimension today, and to do so, we actually need a coconut. And if you notice, there's little brown dots up there. This is actually from Project Vibrant Journeys, is where the coconuts are from. But these are the ones that we need to go to Tropicraft in this pack. So let's go ahead and break one of these off. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And we can take this and we can split it in half and get a cracked coconut. That's what we actually want. There we go. Quest complete. The second pina colada. Okay. So let's go ahead. Um, to craft this, what we need is... Uh, it's right in... It's right in one of these. I need a pineapple. <laughs> and I could have swore I had some... Oh yeah, I know where they're at. They are in... Okay, maybe I didn't actually bring them. I didn't keep any. I know I've picked up a couple, but I've probably thrown them down. Uh, that's fine. They grow everywhere. So let's go ahead and craft ourselves a bamboo mug. We're going to need that. And then there's actually a quest. Uh, let's see. Quest book. I was looking at some of these seeds because we're actually building up a bit of essence right now. But I haven't decided on anything. I mean, really, I don't need any of this stuff. I'm probably just going to start crafting seeds so we've got them. Uh, but resources aren't, since everything's pretty well standard recipe, resources aren't too big of a deal. Um, okay, so they want us to get a pineapple and a cracked coconut. We've done that. And then we need to make a white beach chair. So let's do that real quick. Uh, this is bamboo sticks crafted like that and a little bit of wool. Okay. And then we're going to have to go out and find ourselves I'm getting this like weird hitch. I'm hoping whenever we go to the Tropicraft dimension, it'll stop. Like it's occasionally happening. It was happening earlier whenever I was gathering up uh, seeds and stuff as well. So I don't know what that is, but... All right, first, a chair is done. Let's go ahead and claim our experience. And then, um, sip your drink in the beach chair at sunset. Important. Uh, we get a cyan parrot egg. Let's go ahead, detect that. Okay, so we have unlocked the Tropicraft quest line, basically. Um, the parrot egg, I'm just going to put this away for right now. Right there. And we need to go find ourselves a pineapple. I'm going to go ahead and sleep. Um, you could see I killed a blight, uh, blight, blight zombie. <laughs> I actually stood on top of the, uh, the palm tree here and stabbed him to death. But, um, anyways, I absolutely hate those blight mobs. I absolutely hate them. Like, <laughs> with a passion. Because they're just too fast. They're just over the top fast. There we go. There's a pineapple. There we go. So is this shapeless? It is not shapeless. Okay. Well, there is our pina colada. Yeah. Okay, and now I have to wait for sunset. I'm going to put this white beach chair out just right there's fine. <laughs> we'll just put it in the yard right there. Um, okay, so we've got to wait for sunset. I'm going to go check on the, the cobble chin real quick. Okay, and we've actually got quite a bit of compressed cobble. So we'll go ahead and just craft this out. And now we've got a whole bunch of triple compressed cobblestone. And then we can get our first quadruple compressed cobblestone. Yay. All right. Double compressed, quadruple compressed. And let's check on that quest. The extra utilities, I'm innocent. We get a chance cube. Uh, this is a story in eight chapters. We're going to get a golden case from that. And then there is only three left will be the next one. Okay. All right, so we have to wait for sunset now. So, I don't know if I want to take on another project while we wait. I don't know that we really have a whole lot of time. <laughs> I'll tell you what, while we wait, let's go ahead and grab... I've got this tier 4 crafting seed left over. Let's go ahead and we're going to make a lapis seed. Because we have a quest for that. And so we might as well go ahead and get that. There we go. And we get a quest complete. 
and we get a chance cube. So yay. Okay, so <laughs> that quest is done. And I'm just going to plant that up here. Kind of a mess up here right now, but... Um, I'm actually curious to dive back into Tropicraft. I haven't done Tropicraft in an extremely long time. Um, honestly, I didn't even realize that it was updated until I started working on the pack. Um, and we started making a mod list for the first time. And I was looking at some Dimension mods and I came across Tropicraft. And I was like, hey, <laughs> this is updated. Um, but my previous memories of Tropicraft aren't really memorable. Um, it's not, it wasn't a very interesting dimension, but I'm curious to see if it's, uh, if there's a bit more there now. Um, so this is actually going to be a fun exercise because if the dimension's cool, well then I may stick it in the pack. We'll see. But, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, I actually had to cut Misty World. Misty World was in the pack I'm working on, um, but I did have to cut that because of, um, I had to cut it due to the fact that it was causing some very, very bad cascading world gen lag. And, uh, basically it was taking the pack a really long time to load up. It was fine once it loaded up, um, but it was taking the pack a really, really long time to load up. Like a few minutes after hitting like load world. And I'm not talking about like a new world. I'm just talking about just loading back into a world. Um, it was taking a really long time. So then I ended up cutting it, which is kind of sad because I had some really big plans for the Misty World. Um, because, you know, by default, it's, there's not a whole lot in the Misty World. But uh, I had some big plans for it, but I had to scrap those. <laughs> but uh, we'll see if Tropicraft is interesting or not. Okay, it's almost sunset. I'm waiting till up at the top right where it says 936 daytime. I'm waiting for that to say sunset um, just to make sure that I'm at the right time. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, the Tropicraft I remember was from like 1.7 and so it's been, it's been a while <laughs> to say the least since the last time I, uh, really messed around with Tropicraft. So I'm curious to see what all changes. Okay. It's sunset. Let's have our pina colada and let's drift away. <laughs> let's, I love this nausea effect. We'll drift away to the world of Tropicraft. Okay. Here we go. We are in some water. And there's a bamboo chest. I'm actually going to mark this as home. And the Encyclopedia Tropica. This is the dimension. You die. <laughs> Um, okay, so the Tropica, the Encyclopedia Tropica. Okay, there's not a whole lot in here at the moment. Um, that's due to the fact that as we collect new things, it will unlock new entries. So I guess with night setting, um, let's see, mahogany logs, mahogany leaves. All right, let's just set off, um, like in this direction, maybe, I think. Actually, let's see what the quest book has us doing first. Uh, rocks, chunk ahead, <laughs> and then there's an umbrella making a. It, okay, they want us to make a green beach umbrella, uh, beach float, iguana scales to make armor. There's also the fire armor, uh, the masks, squire zord, bat boy, and horn monkey, and then various music discs. Wow, the rewards, loot chests, and gold coins and Loot chest, a gift, and a chance cube. Um, there's a sifter. We can actually probably make that right now. Let's take a look at the sifter recipe and see what we need for that. Um, glass and wood. Okay. And we've got uh, Entity Tropicraft Tree Frog. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Let's kill it. We got frog legs and poison frog skin. You die too. I'm just going to kill everything. Um, I was wanting this right here. We get ourselves some purified Tropicraft sand. Uh, that way we can make, uh, we can make ourselves some glass. Okay, let's head back over in this direction, in fact. Um, kind of back to where our home spot is. I'm going to set up right over here. We're going to need a little bit of wood. 
And the purifier, you can... Uh, or not the purifier. <laughs> I've got uh, Between Lands on the brain. The uh, sifter, we can... I'm still getting that hitching. I may restart the pack real quick. Um, because I think that's what's causing it. So, but there's a crafting table. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to restart the pack real quick. Oh, wait, wait, before I do, just so there's no chance of these despawning or anything, there is uh, iguanas over here. So I do want to kill these guys. This whole pack of iguanas. There we go. There we go. We got a quest complete. Scales. So this quest right here, we get a potion of the seven seas. Navigation for four minutes, extra alchemy um, effect. So that's basically just adds a bunch of new alchemy stuff. Um, we're going to need some more iguana scales though before we make this. This is just, yeah, it's just like that. Hey, what's that sound? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to restart the pack real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just dump all this stuff into here for right now. And we need to get ourselves some stone. Let's dig into the ground here and we're just going to make a, uh, a furnace. Just to make ourselves some glass so we can get our, sif our sifter up and going. So let's do that. There we go. Basically, like, one of those, like, I mean, you don't technically have to start all over again. Um, but we're kind of starting all over again, <laughs> basically. So, let's go ahead and smelt us up some charcoal. And you'll notice that my speed boost, my uh, furnace speed boost, take effect. So, yay. <laughs> uh, and there's a little bit of glass. Okay, and then let's go ahead and get our sifter. There we go. I'm going to put this right over here. Like right there. Okay, and we completed that quest. So, let's go ahead and turn that in. And we get a gold coin. Yay. Okay, and then what we can do with this is we can take purified sand and put that in. You'll notice it wiggles around a bunch. And uh, then stuff pops out. <laughs> it's how it works. Uh, the Rube Nautilus. And bam, crash Kapow's skull. Okay. Let's grab ourselves a little bit more. Um, does it tell us what all we... No, it doesn't tell us what all we can get from that. Maybe this does. No, that doesn't either. Okay, let's throw in some more sand. We'll see what pops out. Hey, I see another iguana. We're going to go kill it. I think we're going to head off over there. Bottle and uh, purplicious cow's skull. Okay. Well, let's head off in this direction. Well, there was an iguana here. Now there's a tree frog. There we go. I'm still getting that weird hitching, kind of. Um, okay. Well, let's, let's, uh, let's actually strike out. Let me see. Is there any other quests that we can do easily at the moment? Um, I could do a little bit of mining. Um, now let's strike out for a minute. And head over here. Actually, I'm fairly certain that that is going to complete a quest for us right there. Okay, come here, Iguana. There we go. And you'll notice they call their friends from pretty decent distance, too. So, there we go. And... Tree frogs, kill them all. Okay, so this right here, the Easter Island head. <laughs> um, I don't think we can. I don't think we can hurt this thing at the moment. Um, maybe silverfish can. Do you think? No, even they can't hurt it. Okay. <laughs> Let me grab my other wand. Now, it's taking effect, but it's not doing any damage. There's a quest for this. I think we need... Uh, I think we need something special for this, right? 
Okay. Well, we'll figure it out. I think we need a different kind of uh, weapon for this. So. But let's strike out over here. There's a creeper up here. The Tropic Creeper. Wow. <laughs> he exploded like mega quick. I think that's another Easter Island head right here. Yep. Okay. Well, we're going to head off. I don't recall there being any dungeons here. From what I can tell, I think the main thing that the uh, the quest book wants us to do is go mining. So we might do that, but... But yeah, I'm not seeing any kind of, like, structures anywhere. <laughs> so, let's see. Let's, let's head back to home, I guess. We're going to go mining. I think the dimension here, it's really, really pretty. Um, but, like, I remember in 1.7, and it seems like it's about the same. There's not a whole lot here. Um, I do like the trees and stuff like that, but, um, I don't recall there being anything super elaborate here, but maybe. Oh, my gosh. There's an invisible one. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right, we've got enough. Uh, we've got enough iguana scales to make the full set of armor, so we'll do that whenever we get back. I'm probably, I'm probably not going to wear it. There's piranhas. They don't seem. Uh, they seem strangely unaggressive towards me. Yeah, the piranhas just don't even care. They're just like, okay. You can swim through here. It's all right. <laughs> all righty. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna just going to start mining, looking for ores, and we can find some of the Tropicraft ores. Uh, for starters, there's iron. That's not quite what I'm looking for. I'm thinking more along the lines of, like, the Tropicraft ores, which I think they spawn pretty deep down, so we're just going to... We're just going to dig straight down to, like, Y diamond level. <laughs> like, around 10 or so. Okay, there's Eulodite ore. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. There's a quest for that. Right now we're at Y28 at the moment. Uh, this stuff we can use to make Eulodite tools. And let's go ahead and turn that quest in. We get 10 bottles of enchanting. And then, there you go. There's a retrieval task. <laughs> okay, this is the same exact like the same exact quest um, twice. So you can craft local tools from these shards. Okay. Well, anyways, let's uh, let's continue on down. We're looking for the. Uh, I think the only other thing that we're looking for is the azurite. Okay, and the zircon. Um, which once we get zircon, we can make. I think that's what we need to make scuba gear, right? Zircon crystals for that. Now, I can't recall what the Azurite's for. The air compressor. Um, and then there's the Tropics Portal Enchanter Wand. Okay. Uh, a dive computer, a water wand, Azurite block. Okay. I can't remember. I was thinking there was an ore that only spawns in the water. That might be one of those, like Azurite or something. I might have to, I might have to look into that. But we'll see. We'll continue on down and see if we can spot any, um, I want to say Zircon is what spawns down here, but I, I don't know. It's been forever since I've done Tropicraft, like I said. Absolutely forever. There is Zircon. Zircon ore. Um, which is pretty much like the diamonds of this dimension. So, there we go. There's 14. That's actually not a bad, um, amount of them. I think we might need a few more, though, to make the full scuba set, but we get five uh, levels of XP. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, I found Azurite. Right here. There is our very first Azurite crystal, and I think we'll be okay with just one... I don't know, I'd really like to get, like, three. Um, because I do want the Tropics Portal Enchanter wand, but... Um, we'll get into that later. So I'm going to continue on. Maybe. I was kind of looking for Zircon. So maybe there's not an ore that spawns in the water. I don't know. 
I was thinking that there was, but... Okay, I came back up topside. We're going to go ahead and dump off our stuff uh, just in here for now. And all these Eulodite shards, I don't really need those. Um, we'll hold on to that. And let's see, now we have an entry on Azurite. It says this soft mineral is actually an ore of copper. It owes its pretty blue color to the weathering of copper ore deposits. Um, and then there is Zircon. This mystical red crystal can be mined from Zircon ores, which are found deep underground in the tropical realm. Okay. Oh, oh, we got a tropic skeleton. Tropiskelly. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Um, my backpacks keep getting shifted around somehow. And I don't think I've been sorting my inventory, but they just auto-sort. Let's see. Scale boots. And then we'll get the scale helmet. Scale leggings. Scale chest plate. Okay. Some new equipment. Um, and we actually completed this quest for the Azurite Crystal. We'll go ahead and turn that in. And then the um, scale equipment, we got a loot chest from that, which is good. Okay, and then we have a quest here for the compressor, the air compressor. Um, and then the flipper, scuba harness, scuba goggles, and scuba tank. So let's go ahead and take a look at that stuff. The compressor, I think, is a chunko head. Okay, and I'm going to need... Uh, actually, I, I keep forgetting I've got this crafting pad. I'm going to need some bamboo um, to make some bamboo sticks. I'm assuming that I can't just... Uh, let me try something here. Yeah, see that just makes regular sticks. Is it or dictionary though? Nope, got to have bamboo. Okay. And you know, funny story, I actually have not noticed any bamboo here. So... Yeah, I'm going to head out. There's a big a big spot of land over in this direction. So, actually, I tell you what, before we do that, though, I could go ahead and make some of the scuba gear. No, I need chunks of head for that, too. Okay. Never mind. I'm going to have to get chunks of head. Okay, I found some bamboo. So we'll go ahead. Actually, let me get... Uh, I'm just going to gather up a bunch of this, because we're going to need a bunch of it. I have a little bit at the, like at home, but it wouldn't hurt to just go ahead and stock up like crazy on this stuff. Okay, so let's get our sword, right? Oh wait, I need to make bamboo sticks first. So there's that. There we go. Okay, so let's head back out. Um... I'm going to see if I can find some of those Easter Island heads. Okay, here we go. We've got a couple Easter Island heads. Okay, that sword's not working either. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. It's a pick. I remember that. <laughs> it's just been a long time. And these things have massive health pools, as you can tell. Plus, they do quite a bit of damage. Um, actually, you know what I should do? Let me... Uh, there we go. Nope. Okay, I need I do need to heal up kind of badly. Yeah, come over here. Okay, he's not losing slowness, it's just to jump his normal speed. Man, those guys are dangerous. Okay, we got three of the chunk o heads. All right, so for that, we get a Potion of Haste. Okay, cool. Um, let me actually grab... That's the spell that I want, Ice Shard. Let's do this again. I don't think I need to use or waste any potions on this, though. Oh, there's one of those frogs. Okay, I should probably just do that and like, I need to deal with this frog because otherwise I'm going to end up with poison. 
Oh. There we go. Ha ha! Okay, now we're up to six of those. We need eight to make the compressor. And then we need a few more. Oh, there's one of the little trouble guys. Little trouble men. Let's kill him. There we go. And his mask is the brain. I forget leaves you can't move through. Because <laughs> I've gotten used to them in the pack I'm working on and I can move through them. <laughs> I keep thinking that I could do that in like every pack. Okay, and also these ferns. Um, they grow all over the place. We do need these because we can get cactus greens. Um, which will just make crafting the, the beach stuff that we need, the umbrella and the floaty. It'll just make that a little bit easier. So, so yeah, I don't really need this sword. Uh, I'll keep it on me. It's not like I'm short on inventory space. Um, now, the music discs, though, I'm not entirely sure where those come from, to be perfectly honest. I'm not for sure. I'm going to actually, probably between episodes, I'm probably going to look that up and see if I can figure out where those are supposed to come from. Because I haven't the slightest clue. And I'm not seeing any more Easter Island heads. Which is what I need. There's some kind of a fire burning over here. I'm going to investigate, I think. I'm out just kind of running around looking for Easter Island heads at the moment. But uh, not a whole lot of luck. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't think that was craftable. Oh, okay, this is just one of those meteor sites. So, nothing that I need. There's a shadow mob. It's like a shadow frog. <laughs> I'm going to avoid it just because... By the way, I used our levels. We've been building up some levels. I used that to get another point in sprint speed to make travel a little bit quicker. Hey, that's what I'm looking for right here. Yep, wake up. Oh! There's some kind of a structure over there that looks like it's made out of uh, head blocks. And right there. Oh, and that looks like uh, a block of that ore that we're looking for, actually. Which, if so, that's going to be... All right. I'm going to have to head back. <laughs> it's only 300-some-odd meters away. It looks like we get a random respawn point. Or maybe that's... Actually, I think that's the spawn point. Uh, that corresponds to our spawn point in the overworld. We haven't set a spawn point here, so we just respawn back over there, is what it is. Okay, I'm back and I got our stuff. So, let's finish this guy off. There you go. There we go. We got revenge on him. Alright, we're up to nine Chunko heads. Um, but I want to check out these. These are like big structures, and it looks like they have the abyssal, or not abyssal, um, whatever it's called, azurite crystals as the eye pieces. And if so, one of these is going to be more than enough azurite for all of our needs. So, which is awesome because then I'm pretty much done mining <laughs> in this dimension, I think. Yes, blocks of azurite. No. <laughs> Sneaky. Okay, they're made out of lava. So, there we go. Azurite block. There's 10 azurite. That's more than enough for everything uh, that we need it for. And I'm going to grab just a, a few of these chunks of head. There's another one of those statues over there. Um, but I don't actually think that we need it. I think all we need this for... No, uh, we don't really need the dagger chunk fence gates but we need the air compressor we need the regulator um, and the weight belt and the dive computer and the um, I guess we'll probably make a drink mixer I'm gonna gather up a little bit more of this that's fine and I'm gonna grab a few more pieces while it's free and right here um, there's another statue over here near us so I may run over there um, yeah, there's 53. That's going to be more than enough. But go ahead and get the Azurite blocks. Hey, this isn't a this isn't a Tropicraft structure, but it's a it's overworld structure. It's one of these mine shafts. Uh, I'll take the basic case. Okay. 
and these always seem to duplicate the second uh, the second chest. So you always get like the same reward out of the second one as you get out of the first one. Okay, so let's head over here. We're going to go ahead and snag those two Azurite blocks just because we can. And I'm going to probably go ahead and just make it like an even stack of... Uh, actually, i tell you what. Let's go ahead. That. Oops, okay. There we go. There is our compressor. And we should get a quest complete. Dun, dun, dun. There's a head statue over there. Like one of the ones I kill. I'm not going to bother with him because... I didn't realize these spawn. Um, honestly, whenever this structure, whenever I was in packs that had the, not the structure, but Tropicraft, to be perfectly honest, I didn't really ever bother with it a whole, whole lot because it was like, it was one of those dimensions where it was just like, it's like, oh, okay, Tropicraft's in the pack. Um, not to be mean or anything, there just usually wasn't a whole lot here. Like this, is, we've pretty much done about everything um, that's really in this dimension, I think this episode so oh that's actually that was diamond those eyes were diamond okay I'll take that too <laughs> 18 free diamonds but uh, we've actually got plenty of diamonds I'm actually probably going to make uh, the tier 5 diamond seed before long because we can um, honestly I might make emeralds first because I've got a lot of diamonds I've got a whole lot of diamonds okay so that's everything here I've got to head back 459 meters that's fine um, we are probably about to end out this episode here, though, I think. And then I'll, I'll make the trek back home. Um, we're going to have to make this stuff. This stuff requires string, though. Um, that actually doesn't have not, doesn't, well, that does not have a reward. But the white belt, we need, uh, chunks of head. Well, we'll get into that stuff next episode. So, um, really, there's not a whole lot of travel craft left. The only thing is the discs. And then there's the fire armor. How do we make this stuff? Um, I think it probably comes from some kind of a dungeon or something. I'm thinking there's some kind of a dungeon somewhere. Because, I mean, there's these masks. And we've killed a lot of those little mask guys. But we've never found any of these masks. We, and we got to find the discs and the fire armor. That's all. Like, that whole corner. Um, I don't know about. Really, the only thing left in Tropicraft is scuba stuff and that i mean that's really all there all there is but it seems like there may be some kind of a dungeon somewhere oh we can make bongo drums we might make some bongo drums but yeah and then i think that's about about it so we're gonna next episode we'll get into turtle shells huh probably honestly you know what this stuff may come from the sifter maybe I don't know. We'll uh, we'll check that out next episode. So um, we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out then. But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care. Stay safe. I'll see you guys then.